Eight of Singapore's most promising young football talents will study and train abroad full-time under the first overseas scholarship by the Unleash the Raw. UTR, National Football Project. They will be heading to two of the world's top institutions for developing young football talents. Five will be attending the IMG Academies program in Florida, while three will be enrolling at ESC La Liga NBA in Madrid. IMG has produced top talents such as AC Milan's Christian Pulisic, the US women's national football team's Mallory Swanson, and goalkeeper Brian Heberlin, who last played with Eintracht Frankfurt in the German Bundesliga. ESC, the academy project of Spain's top tier league La Liga, has hosted top prospects from around the world, including Manchester United upstart Alejandro Garnacho. Both academies offer conducive training environments with the integration of sports science. A high-quality competition schedule throughout the year and academic options that offer flexibility and support future academic aspirations. This is the first time that the Singapore government is offering an overseas football scholarship. The recipients will receive the support of the UTR. Network in Singapore through mentors comprising football administrators and ex-internationals such as A. Iskandar, Go Techuan and Fazila Latif. These mentors will have regular check-ins with the student athletes during their scholarship journey. The 8 UTR Overseas scholarship recipients, six girls and two boys, are Adra Arul Gaineswaran, Chloe Cole, Yerselina Irwin, Kyra Taylor, Seri Ayunitosha Nasri, Yasmin Zaharin, Lu Kai Shen and Yuchena Isieka. They received their scholarships from Edwin Tong, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, during a ceremony at Asian Civilizations Museum on Monday, July 31st. The recipients were endorsed by a selection panel led by UTR. Executive Committee Chairman Eric Chua Following a robust selection process, the process began with an initial shortlist of close to 40 male and female student athletes, based on the preliminary assessments from the Football Association of Singapore FAS and Singapore Sports School. They were assessed during training sessions and competitions by a technical committee led by FAS Technical Director Michael Brown. From this, a smaller group of players were invited to an in-person panel interview with representatives of the UTR. Executive Committee One of the recipients, 16-year-old Yerselina Irwin, has already earned five caps with the Singapore women's national team. The defender said, the feeling of being given this opportunity to study and train overseas is just as surreal as my first call-up to the national team. The thought of two to three football training and physical conditioning sessions daily over the next few years with top professionals in the US excites me, and I cannot wait to start and do my very best. I want to learn as much as possible and be a better defender. Upon their return, the scholarship recipients will contribute back to the Singapore football ecosystem, including representing Singapore in international competitions. During his speech at the scholarship award ceremony, Tong said that the scholarship is the latest initiative that will complement programs already in place. He stressed that the immediate focus is to grow Singapore's footballing base, identify talents and help them realize their potential. To support this first trust of youth development, UTR has introduced 12 school football academies since last year. Players from these academies, along with the top youth talent from the active SG football academies, private clubs and academies, schools and Singapore Premier League centres of excellence, will all be channeled through to the new junior and national development centres JDC and NDC. Coaching standards will be enhanced, with coaches being given opportunities to upgrade themselves via workshops and even overseas training tours and attachment stints in the future. The top players of each cohort will form the nucleus of our national junior teams. 
for our best players, the JDC and NDC will be their second home, Tom said. We have already consolidated some of the best 8 to 16 year old footballers at our development centers, where they train up to four times a week and go through rigorous assessments in a highly competitive environment. In the coming year, we will also introduce the Singapore Youth League so that they can train and compete regularly at high levels.